Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to the latest Focus IR company interview. I'm joined by Oliver Hassler, Chairman and CEO at Pix Resources, a mineral sands producer listed on the Australian National Stock Exchange and on the main market on the London Stock Exchange, with the ticker PYX. Pix has been producing premium zircon since 2015 and is now the world's third largest publicly listed zircon producer by resource. It operates in Indonesia and as of yesterday, has a market capitalization of £69 million. Pounds. Greetings, Oliver. Good morning, Donald. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. I'm delighted to, to be speaking to you today. Now, for those investors not familiar with PIX, can you describe the company? Let's start by describing the company, its background, and the Indonesian mineral sands assets for us. Put it, put it all in context for us, if you will. Sure. So as you, as you mentioned, we're a mineral sands mining company with very large resources. And for those who are not familiar with mineral sands, that's mainly mining for minerals as zircon and titanium dioxide. So rutile and ilmenite. Zircon, everybody knows it. It's what makes ceramic tiles, bathroom furniture and, and dinnerware hard, white, chemical resistance and grass resistant, but it's also used in nuclear power plants and, and in high tech industry. Most of the developed countries in the world consider our minerals, zircon and rutile and ilmenite, a critical mineral required for the transition towards carbon zero. So we're a very large resource, as you mentioned, we're the third largest producing mineral sands company based on our zircon resources. Uh, not only do we have a very large resource, we are in production. We're in central Kalimantan, Indonesia. For those who don't know, Kalimantan is on the island of Borneo, which is the third largest island in the world. So part of the Indonesian archipelago. We're not only known because of the size of our asset, we also have a very high quality. On one side, it's our assemblage value, which is three to five times higher than the one of our peers. What does that mean? Most of the mineral sands mining companies in the world are ilmenite miners with byproducts of rutile and zircon. We are zircon miner with byproducts of ilmenite. Why is that important? Today, zircon sells for $2,000 per ton, while ilmenite sells around 250. So we have a higher concentration of the expensive mineral. On the other side also, we have a low radioactivity, a low alumina content and a very high whiteness. Uh, the low alumina iron content and low radioactivity is important for those who use our zircon for fused zirconia, which is needed for high-tech applications. So where they use zircon to do uh, semiconductors, batteries for electric vehicles, energy cells, etc. So we have a very interesting project in production with a very high uh, listed in both stock exchanges and, and with a very high quality. Okay, operational results now. Um, you've just put out operational results for the full year 2023 and the company has had a game-changing year. Zircon production up 31%, sales up 24%, most interestingly, despite global demand for Zircon being soft. So take us through the highlights, if you will, uh, Oliver. Sure. We're very happy with our results, as you say, in a soft economy. So our zircon production, is, uh, which was our focus point this year, is up 31%, with sales of our premium zircon growing uh, by 24%, and our total sales growing by 20%. Uh, why are these uh, results so impressive? As, as we mentioned, this is a soft economy. Luckily, Zircon is a category where there is not enough supply for the actual demand. So even if it's in a, in a soft economy, prices have been very, very strong. And I'm very, very bullish about the pricing in the future, because even if you add all the new projects that are out there and believe that they will happen at announced timing in those volumes, they're not enough to compensate for the older minds that are reaching the end of their mind life. So what makes Zircon so interesting is that the long-term predictions are that there's not enough for the market demand. So even in a soft market, pricing maintained, 
So I'm sure that when one of the economies comes out of this crisis, be it the West or, or China, which is the biggest consumer, pricing will uh, go up again, like we saw in 2020 and 2021. Am I right in thinking that you've refocused sales to, to China and India to, to, to head for those stronger growing economies? China was always our focus point. I mean, for two reasons. First, China is consumes almost 60% of the world zircon. So it is the biggest consumer naturally, and it's the biggest consumer in most of the large industries where zircon is being used. Secondly, also, we're a natural partner for uh, China. We're in Indonesia. Indonesia is the biggest Belt and Road country with that a strategic partner of China. The biggest producers today of zircon is Australia. You know the relations between Australia and China is not that good. So Chinese like buying Indonesian zircon. So we're very well positioned for the Chinese market. The market that has been very strong this year is, is India. We have always sold in India, but India had a very strong year during 2023, absorbing a lot of the demands lost in Europe and the Americas. Mindiri Mineral Sands, they've been in production since 2015. They contain, as you explained at the top, zircon, ilmenite and rutile, titanium dioxide. If you could talk us through the ilmenite and rutile ore markets, Oliver, what, what, where do you sell and how does it work? Okay, so strategically, we always said that we, we had a license only for zircon. The Indonesian, and we have been lobbying very strong in Jakarta with the energy and mining department to change the regulation. And in August, the Indonesian government changed the regulation, allowing the export of ilmenite with a content of higher than 45% of titanium dioxide and for rutal higher than 90%. So this allowed us to start exporting these minerals without having to build a smelter or an industrial operation to export this. So this was a huge achievement, which we have been working on for a very long time. We obtained the export uh, license to, uh, for ilmenite and rutile. New regulation forces us now to add into the license also the export port. So we expect to get a revised license over the next weeks and to start exporting ilmenite. This is very important for our finances. We have stockpiled over 10,000 tons of ilmenite. We have absorbed all the cost within the zircon production. So we expect in 2024 to sell all of our ilmenites at 100% margin because there is no cost. It was, as I mentioned, it was absorbed within the zircon. So financially, this license is very important uh, for the company in 2024. And how much might 10,000 tons of ilmenite ore be worth on the, on the market currently? Well, today the prices are probably at around $300,000. So it's a 3 million profit, which is a game changer for us again. So mm, that's a serious amount of money. We're, we're not receiving financial re results until March 15th. So as you know, today we do operational results and I, can, I cannot give any indications of where we will finish, but operational results and, and, and inventories uh, allow uh, investors and analysts to, to arrive to their own conclusions. Let's move to the 10-year exploration and mining license for the Tisman Mineral Sands project. I think it was renewed in 2023. Is that right, Oliver? That is correct. We acquired a second tenement, which is not in production yet, which is Tisma. And we, we renewed the license for 10 years. So the nice thing is this gives us a huge potential uh, for the future to start operating in a second mine. And obtaining a 10-year license gives us long-term visibility uh, into uh, our, our project, at least on the strategic side of it. Does Indonesia generally welcome mining operators like PICs who work hard at being good corporate citizens? I'm talking about ESG here. Is ESG important in Indonesia? It's like in all developing countries, it's getting more important. I guess what's important is for PICS, it has been extremely important since the beginning and has constituted the base on which we have built the business under a program called PICS Cares. So we have, uh, we have uh, aboard, boarded this uh, 
project from, from many areas. Mainly we want to create an impact on the local community and serve as an example for other companies. We joined the UN Global Compact Initiative in November 2022. We reconfirmed this commitment in March this year for the year 2023, and we will continue. We have done initiatives, and we're the only ones in, on, in Kalimantan for the third time, for the third year, we have worked in collaboration with the, inter, with the Indonesian Red Cross. Most of our people donated blood. We have done very strong campaigns with the local schools. We like to work with the young children, which are the future of Indonesia, where we have worked very hard on doing campaigns to increase uh, and improve their health. Uh, training of our people has been very important. We're continuing our project of planting 10,000 uh, trees on our tenement, etc. So sustainability under Pix Cares has been very important from us since the beginning. Pix is developing the globally significant Mandiri and Tisman mineral science deposits. If you could describe your medium to longer term vision for investors, please, Oliver. Sure. Uh, operationally, we have been very clear since the beginning. We're working on increasing our volumes, which we have done quarter after quarter, year after year. We also worked on reducing, drastically reducing operational costs, which we are testing our mining equipment. We're doing the metallurgical work to substitute third party uh, miners and to our own in-house miners. So not only will we increase the, the volumes, that allows us to drastically reduce the costs. And then we worked uh, on uh, diversifying our products, which we did with this new license, in, uh, which allows us to export Rutalid Ilminite. Strategically, the same way that we acquired Tisma, we're constantly looking at other deposits in the area because I'm convinced we can become the consolidator of the mineral sands industry of Indonesia. Okay, final question. Why should investors add picks to the watch list now? I think now is a, is a perfect moment. For those that have followed us, there's research done from investment banks in Hong Kong and, uh, and, and uh, London. They have targeted prices and a consensus of about £1.40. Share prices, like most of the mining industry today, are relatively low at 0 0.16 pounds. So there's a huge upside potential. So we have a very interesting project in a strong bullish category, which is uh, Zircon with a very long term uh, up potential. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity at, at, a, at a very good price today. Oliver Hassler, Chairman and CEO of Pix Resources. Thank you so much for joining us today and for giving us so much detail about your company. And we very much look forward to hearing from you again. For more company information and to access the company bulletin board, please go to the PIX Resources pages of London Southeast. And meanwhile, do follow us on Twitter. That's at underscore focus IR underscore and at London Southeast. Or register on London Southeast YouTube to receive alerts to our next PIX Resources interview. All that rem remains for me to say is thank you very much indeed for watching.